everyone, it is Monday, August 12th in the year by Lord 2013, how are all you doing out there? I am doing awesome as always, wicked awesome, hey, it's only four more days till faggot ain't Friday, so hey, Monday blues may be getting you down, but by golly, we got beer and song of the day, blues Monday, you know beer is good for you, today's show, boys and girls and it's brought to you by my good friend, and his business, Stevens Rubber Stamp Sign Company, down here at Yeehaw, Texas, otherwise known as Southern Oklahoma. And uh, my man, Tom Walk, that's Walk, not Walkie, not Walker, the E is silent. General manager of this here place, Stevens Rubber Stamp Sign Company, they make all kinds of good stuff. Banners, laser engravings, rubber stamps, although I heard they're not doing that anymore. Uh, magnetic signs, candy wrappers, oh yes, and vinyl letters. Folks, there you have it. And uh, a great man with a great business. He represents our show. We represent his page. He, he represents our page. And folks, I don't know about you, but after a high day of work, I need a good big bowl of beer. Yeah, that's right. It says Happy Birthday Baby Bean 2001. My love God has hooked me up with this for my 28th birthday a while back. And uh, a big beer consumption apparatus calls for a big bowl badass beer. And look at this. There's a birthday boy today that brought me this here beer all the way from Illinois. Gotta give some love, man love, to my man, Dave Bauer. A fellow Gat God, AI in the house. I work with him down here in Yeehaw, Texas. That's right, where men and men and the bulls run scared. And Dave, brother, I want to give you a love doctor salute. Thank you so much. He's a great leader of men, women, and it's wonderful, wonderful man. Celebrating a birthday today. Happy birthday, Dave. And brother, I said I was going to do it, and by golly, I am. You brought this to me from Illinois. Rolling Meadows Brewery, Abe's Ale, Brown Ale, 8.6% of absolute exquisite awesomeness. And there's my beloved Delilah. Beer is good for you. Look at this one, Delilah. What do you think of that, huh? All right, well, a birthday man brought this, Mr. Dave. A different Dave. He's my boss at work. All right, well, this maple syrup brown ale has a lot of highly fermentable sugars making for a big brew of a cheer. Rolling Hill, Rolling Meadows Brewery, Can Cantrell, Illinois. Illinois, otherwise known as Western Indiana. It's pretty much the same state. Probably opening apparatus, proper technique. Here we go. Oh, and a good pop, too. Heck, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. What baby daughter? That's right. I remember that. And you, and you bent it? I bent the spoon one time using it as a beer opening apparatus. I sure did. But at least you bent it back. I did bend it back so mommy wouldn't kill me. 45 degree angle right into the beer consumption apparatus right over the keyboard because I'm just that damn good. <laughs> Haven't spilled a drop yet. Never have, never will. And uh, folks, this is how you pour good quality beer right here. If you're so good at it, then when, when are you going to do it with your eyes closed? You want me to do it with my eyes closed next time? Sure. Okay. I want to see you do it. Well, I keep the sunglasses on it so people don't have to look at my ugly face too much. Cheers and beers to all of you. Prosses say Germany come pie as they say in Japan. Can't see anything. <laughs> I don't have to see it to appreciate this. Dave Bauer, this, my friend, is an A-plus beer, one of the top ten I think I've ever a, had. Don't you mean an A, wait. A-plus. It doesn't get any better than that, Delilah. Uh -oh. This is pretty much a perfect beer right here. Okay? Oh, this is amazing. I thought you were going to say like an A-plus, plus or something. Mm -mm. That's all made up and superficial. All right. Folks, we got some birthdays to get off. Oh, yeah. And, folks, I want to give a big special birthday shout out. To one of my mentors in life, my boss in California I worked with, this guy turned my job career around, made me a much better man. You know, he taught me make work fun. You know, helped me build self-confidence in myself. I'm never going to forget this man. An absolute amazing friend of mine. My man, my buddy, brother, Daryl K. Harris. That's right, Harry T. as you know him. Um, Daryl's living in Germany. He... He's a manager of a club there, and like me, he's a fellow Gat God. He's been all over the world like me. We've hung out together in California, the land of fruits and nuts, otherwise known as Western Nevada. 
We've hung out together in um, in Okinawa, Japan. We've hung out together in Germany. Dude, this guy just reeks of awesomeness. Daryl Harris, the pride of Cincinnati, Ohio. A true Cincinnati Bengals fan. A true Cincinnati Reds fan. And a true great leader of men, women, and it's. Definitely one of my inspirations in life. No doubt about it. Daryl, I give you a love doctor salute, man. Hell yeah. <clears throat> Squeeze me. Daryl, what you gonna do, brother, when I hit you in the eye with a woman's shoe? Size 7. That's right. It's an old quote. Long before you were born, Delilah. Oh, no. Trust me, Daryl and I go way back. All the way to 1997. Cheers to the Bears, Daryl. Happy birthday party. Hide and enjoy. Celebrate like it's 1969. Minus the acid. Cheers, my friend. Hey, Daddy. Uh-huh. Um, whenever you said it, 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 it was Sunday today, and I, I thought in my head, no, it's Snarf Day. Snarf Day, okay. Hey, we got a whole bunch of other birthdays today. Oh, and also, I went I went to ba I went to band to try out the the clarinet. Yep, how'd you do? I was awesome. How awesome were you? Wicked awesome. They can't hear you. Wicked awesome. There you go. That's right, thumbs. There you go. Delilah, who's your favorite baseball team? Red Sox. Who's your favorite Celtics team? I mean, basketball team. Celtics. Who's your favorite football team? <laughs> Patriots. Who's your favorite hockey team? Bruins. What do you think of the New York Yankees? Mm, yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> oh, that, yeah, there you go. That's right. I love my little Delilah. That's right. My little mini-me. All right, folks. More birthdays. You ready? My man, Sean Brew. With a kick-ass night name like that, I drink a brew for you there, Sean Brew. He's doing great. I worked with him in jolly old England. Another great leader of men, women, and it's a bubble-chasing son of a gun, a legend, and a true leader. Sean, happy birthday to you, brother. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Life is good in Dr. B's hood down here in southern Oklahoma, better known as western uh, Louisiana. Damn right. Life is good down here. Little hot Chicken foot. Chicken foot. That's right. Oh, that's a good domino game, by the way. But, Sean, cheers the beers to you, my friend. Have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Next on the list. This man was born the same exact month and years, my friend, Sean. And I'll talk about my man, Rick Mello. So we got brew. We got mellow. How cool. Wicked cool. Uh, Rick Mello, a fine outstanding graduate of Martin's Vineyard Regional High School, class of 1992. With my brother, hey, good class, not as good as my Virginia Mitchell High School class of 1991. The best damn graduating class in the history of mankind, womankind, to it kind. But I'll tell you what, Rick Mello, a great man indeed. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Happy birthday, my friend. Cheers and beers to you. Hope you enjoy the show. I haven't heard from you in a long time, so drop me a line. Let me know how life's treating you. Hope it's treating you marvelous. Simply marvelous. Oh my God, this beer is incredible. 8.6%. That's a really strong beer, folks. I don't even notice the alcohol. That's how marvelously blended this here beer is. Next on the list. I've had this lady on my friends list for over three years. A wonderful lady indeed. Robbie Watson Enright. We played Farmville together. Um, I know she was in Mafia Wars, if I remember correctly. I haven't heard from you in a long time, Robbie. How you doing? Hope you're doing well. Hope you've had a phenomenal birthday. Hope you're still enjoying your birthday. Hey, drop me a line. Let me know how life's treating you. Have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Kids and beers. Next on the list, a recent addition to the Mafia Wars crew, my man Mitch Mitchell. How you doing, Mitch? Happy birthday to you. Hope you're doing well. Drop me a line. Hope you like the show. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy, my man. All right, Gregor, Greg Egger, a comical nav wizard I work with down here in Yeehaw, Texas. Hey, he just moved to Mississippi, better known as Western Alabama. <laughs> Pretty much the same state. I mean, you look at those two states and reverse them. There you go, same state. Uh, Miss Alabama. Screw it. Why not? Or Alississippi? Sure. Hey, Greg. Just moved there. Greg, missed the hell out of you already. Hope you're doing well. Hope you and your better half, Ann, are doing great things. And I hope you spoil the hell out of your lesser half. He's a damn good man. And uh, we missed the tour of you to the Eggers family. 
Have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Ah! Little fetus, Phil Besson. Folks, this young man I worked with, a badass Jetsical, jolly old England. He's the pride of Michigan. A definite wicked hardcore Detroit sports fan. A great young man. And you know, I'm telling you right now, he looks half his age. I'm not kidding you, okay? This guy will be 60 years old and will probably still get kited for beer, okay? No doubt about it. Phil Besson, better known as Little Fetus because he looks like a little fetus. Phil, how you doing, my man? Hope you enjoy the show. Hope you have a wicked awesome day. And Phil, by golly, party hard and enjoy. Cheers and beers, my friend. Always a pleasure chatting with you. Hey, go Lions. My, my number two team in the NFL behind my Patriots. All right. Dina Keniston, a sweetheart of a lady I've known for a long damn time. Martha's Vineyard. I want to say, now, were you Martha's Vineyard Regional High School class in 1997 or 98? That I need to know. But, Dina, I've known you for a long damn time. I've known you for nearly 20 years. Sweetheart, beautiful. Dina, I knew her, Dina Bernard. She is Dina Keniston. So he's calling her Dina Bernard. That's how I knew her. Dina Keniston, happy birthday, my friend. Hope you're doing well. Drop me a line. I haven't heard from you in a long, long time. But have a wicked awesome day. Celebrate well and enjoy. Enjoy life on the vineyard. Yep, that's right. Cheers and beers to you. Yeah, and enjoy the traffic jams. That's right. Yeah, you know what I'm talking about. A very famous person is there right now. All right. Uh, JoJo Cougar, a recent addition to Mafia Wars. How you doing? Happy birthday to you, JoJo. Hope you're doing well. And I appreciate the help on the old Mafia Wars. You let me know if you need anything. That's what good mafiosos do. It's all about whacking schmuck schmuckettes and people that probably should have never been born. It's fun whacking people online. We don't do it for real, okay? That's not nice. <coughs> That's all I got to say about that. Cheers. All right. JoJo, have a wicked awesome day. Hope you enjoy the show. A lot of birthdays, and we are done with the birthdays. Hot diggity dog damn. Folks, it is time to announce last week's winner of Fan of the Week. To become Fan of the Week, this is what you do. You share our show. You share our page. Now, our friend Susan Cabado, who I have yet to meet in person, a sweetheart of a lady, the mother of the wicked, awesome, badass age ranger, Zach Dawkins, and his wonderful, better half, the lovely Jessica Dawkins. <coughs> um, they're a wonderful young couple, very inspirational, and Zach's mom, Susan. I want to meet her so bad. She is just like totally freaking awesome. And Susan shared our show every day. And on top of that, chimed in on our posts. Um, she recommended some hunks of the day. She recommended um, some songs, things like that. Susan was so interactive. She was as interactive to our page as Jenna Jameson was in the prime of her porn career. That, my friend, that is active. And Susan put the active in interactive when it came to being very, very vocal on our page. And Susan, by God, you get the Love Doctor salute. Absolute awesomeness. Keep up the phenomenal work. And hey, folks, don't forget, you recruit people to like our Beer and Song of the Day Facebook page. That's extra added bonus points right there. And remember, it is Fan Appreciation Week. I want to know what you want to see as Babe of the Day. Hunk of the Day. What songs do you want to hear? What movies do you want to see featured on a future episode of Cinema Saturday? And if you want to become Babe or Hunk of the Day, and I love having real friends as Babe and Hunk of the Day, all you got to do, hit me up or one of my two admins, the awesome Gidget or the awesome BMH, Big McLarge Huge. Um, you hit up either one of them or yours truly, the Love Doctor. And we will make it happen. All right? we'll, we'll lay out specific instructions. Pri message us privately. Whatever you want to do. We love having our uh, real babes and hunks of the day. We had that yesterday's show. Um, so Susan, phenomenal job. Much respect. 
you're already in the album. And, uh, folks, it's a new week, so by God, <coughs> squeeze me, get involved. Get involved. Share our page, share our show, recruit some fans, okay? All right, now, it is time for our uh, trivia question. <clears throat> and this was provided yesterday by yours truly. Many years ago, on August 12th, it hit 120 degrees Fahrenheit, 49 degrees Celsius for you metric folks. And that was in Seymour, Texas. That was a state record for Texas. What year did this happen? Well, it's pretty ironic that the question was answered by somebody who's not even from the United States of America. This guy is a media mogul. He is a uh, graphics operator at the largest TV radio station in all of Canada, Chum Television Radio, uh, 1050 on the AM dial. He's part of the sports network. He's a sports nut. He's a wicked high-core sports nut, and he's also a consummate beer drinker. Him and I talk all the time. Wicked high-core hockey fans. My man, my buddy, you've heard the name many times on Beer and Song today. My good friend, Brian Shaven. Brother, way to go. You answered it. You said 1936, and by golly, you nailed that son of a bitch. Brian Shaven, the pride of Ajax, Ontario, Canada. Canada, we salute. Eh? That's what I'm talking about. That's right. And Brian's like me. He supports the draft. Hail to the effing yeah. Brian Shaven, my friend, my buddy. A definite Wicked High Core Love Doctor salute to you. Well done. Brother, I salute. Have a beer ski with me, would you? Alright. So there you go. Here's all our shout outs. I think it's time we bring out today's hunk of the day, and I've got a special treat for our fan of the week. The lovely, gorgeous, wicked, awesome Susan Cabado from the great state of Illinois. How about that, Susan? See? My good friend Dave Bauer. He brought this to me all the way from your home state, okay? And uh, have you heard of that brewery? Have you heard of Rolling Meadows Brewery? You need to go check them out. Seriously, this is some phenomenal beer over here. Alright. Well... Susan Kebido, you requested this hunk of the day, and by God, this is a man's man right here. This is a ladies' man. This guy is just screams absolute badass. We're talking about the late great Chuck Connors. That's right, the Rifleman. And did you know he's a former Major League Baseball player too? Yeah, this dude just—he's just total freaking badass. That's a man's man right there. And let's bring out a song that Susan Kebido requested. How about Misery by the Bodines? Susan, you asked for it, and by God, the Love Doctor is going to hook you up. Thank you so much. Hey, folks, this is what happens when you help me out. When you help share our show and page, when you help and get involved creating activity on our page, you get recognized and you get loved. Not in that way. Come on now. I don't, I'm not like that. I'm a, I'm a one-woman man. But by golly. I spread the love, Dr. Love, in a different way. Hey, this song's not blues, but it is pretty damn bluesy. I listened to it last night. I've never heard of, the, I've never heard of Bodines before. Misery by Bodines. As we enjoy today's hunk of the day, the badass that is the late, great Chuck Connors. A good song for a great, a great song for a great man. I really like this song. I've never heard it before. Got a little bit of country style to it, a little bit of blues. Queen of the One Night Stand. Susan, I know that's not you. I know it's not. <laughs> oh, I've known the Queen of the One Night Stand. Oh, I hate it. Look at that guy! Chuck Connors! BMF! Bad Mofo! Damn, I'm digging this song, Susan. And guess what? My luck of a murder victim of electronic device. Oh, there you go. How about that? Chuck Connors. Chicago Cubs, 1949 right there. He played with the Cubs in 49? I think it was. Wow. Montreal Royals. 
That's the same team that the late great Jackie Robinson played for. How about that? Montreal, Quebec, Canada. Minor league team. That is a... And, of course, my phone is jacking me up. That's a badass right there, folks. At the time, they were known as the Philadelphia Athletics. They moved to Kansas City in 1955. And then after the 1967 season, they went to Oakland. The Rifleman. Damn right. Ooh, Not too shabby, eh? The Rifleman, Chuck Connors. And he had that tough guy shit, too. That's just a man's man right there, folks. Badass. Always carrying that gun, too. Carrying that rifle. Chuck Connors, definitely a cut man there. Buff cut, chisel. Oh, damn. Yeah, you weren't messing with this guy. Oh, hell no. Just sad he died so young. Only 71 years old when he passed away. Brooklyn Dodgers, how about that, huh? After the 1957 season, they went to Los Angeles, along with the uh, New York Giants of baseball, to San Francisco. Ooh. Ride Beyond Vengeance. Interesting. See? Now, like I say, he's a ladies' man. There you go. Look at him, badass sideburns. Uh, you gotta love the rifleman. Chuck Connors. He's definitely a legend. No doubt. Alright. Folks, let's bring out some celebrity birthdays for today. Um, how about this one? Kara Delevingne. Delevingne. D-E-L-E-V-I-N-G-N-E. -E. I don't know how you pronounce that. Uh, Kara, excuse me. C-A-R-A. -A. All I know is she's 21 years old today and a British model and absolutely wicked hot. And she doesn't have those famous British teeth, okay? And then we've got Cecil B. DeMille, a very famous director. Ten Commandments, check that out, both the 1923 silent version, as well as the 1956 full-fledged color sound version. Cecil B. DeMille directed many huge, big-budget movies. Um, born on this day in 1881, passed away in 1959. Casey Affleck, 38 years old today, that's right, the younger brother of Ben Affleck, there you go. Buck Owens! Yeehaw, country singer, born this day in 1929, passed away in 2006 at the age of 76. Buck Owens, famous for making that Bakersfield sound, as they call it, Bakersfield, California. In fact, Buck Owens Boulevard, there's a street that was named after him in Bakersfield. He's very famous in Bakersfield, a legend indeed. And I know I've been to Bakersfield, California so many times, I can't even count on my fingers, toes, and teeth combined. How about the great guitarist? Lead guitarist of not of uh, Dire Straits, 64 today, Mark Knopfler. This dude, folks, Mark Knopfler, one of the most amazing guitarists you'll ever hear in your life. Jane Wyatt, the late, great Jane Wyatt of Father Knows Best. Folks, born, she was born this day in 1910, passed away in 2006, the age of 96. And she was married for one day short of 65 years. Yes. A famous marriage that actually worked. They're rare, but they do happen. And then you got this guy, tennis legend, badass, American. He's 42 years old today. The same, born the same month, day, and year. He's a very good friend of mine. And I'm talking about Pete Sampras. Yeah, you better know that name, folks. And another one that was born the same exact month, day, and year as Pete Sampras and another good friend of mine, August 12th in the year of our Lord, 1971. I'm talking about, ooh, she's hot. Real hot. Damn hot. Rebecca Gayhart, actress, folks, look her up. G A Y E H A A. G A Y E Hart. Look her up. You'll be like, oh my God. Folks, she's gorgeous and she's 42. How about that? Hey, how about Anthony Ray? 50 years old today, milestone birthday. Who the hell's Anthony Ray, you say? Hey, he's better known as. Sir Mix-a-Lot, that's right. 
How about that? Sir makes a lot. 50 years old today. Wow, I feel old now. Dominique Swain. I remember her in the 1998 classic movie Face Off. And she had that little uh, nose ring. She was wearing that green shirt and her innocent white panties. Dominique Swain was 18 then. Dominique Swain is 33 years old today. Happy birthday, gorgeous actress. Ah, Marty Friedman. Megadeth guitarist for almost 10 years. He's 51 today. Megadeth, badass heavy metal band. Love them. Phenomenal. Um, and then we got John Derrick. And he directed three different wives of his. And they're hot. Ursula Andress. That's right, from Dr. No, 1962, the first ever Bond girl. Linda Evans, famous from Dallas. And Bo Derrick, from, famous from the 1979 movie 10. He directed all three of those women. He was married to all three of them. That lucky son of a bitch. He was born on this day in 1926, passed away in 1998. Yeehaw, country singer, the late great Porter Wagner, born on this day in 1927, passed away in 2007 at the age of 80. Plaxico Burris, 36 years old today. That's right. The NFL wide receiver that shot himself in the leg. That's what he'll be famous for now, idiot. How about this one? Um, Christy Matthewson, one of the first five original Hall of Famers in the major leagues in 1936. Christy Matthewson, legendary pitcher, New York Giants, born this day in 1880, sadly passed away much too young at the age of 44 in 1925. And then legendary badass jazz guitarist Pat Metheny, 59 years old today, and definitely still going strong. All right, folks, you know what time it is. It is time to bring out today's babe of the day as we bring out our second song of the day. I wanted to give a little special song to Susan because she has just been phenomenal. And this one, this this babe of the day, it is fan request, uh, it is fan appreciation week, and this lovely lady Definitely an 80s badass female rock and roll legend. Um, Babe of the Day. Requested by our good friend. Very active um, viewer. And hey, I'm surprised he hasn't won Fan of the Week yet. Dan Butler, the pride of San Antonio, Texas. And a wicked hardcore Dallas Cowboys fan of True Homer. Dan Butler, I know you're going to watch the show. You and your better half, Allison, have her watch it too. She's a total sweetheart. Dan, Allison, you guys are phenomenal. I can't wait to meet you in person down the road. It will happen. We know our good friend Kevin Harding, a badass crew dog I worked with in jolly old England. Mutual friend right there. Dan and Allison, phenomenal couple, phenomenal friends. And Dan, you requested her as babe of the day. We're talking about Lita Ford. That's right. 80s badass, hot, gorgeous rock and roll girl. There you go. Asking you shall receive... Fan Appreciation Week. Folks, I'm serious. Whoever you want, let us know, okay? I don't want Justin Bieber, okay? Justine Bieber, as I call her. No, I don't want her. Please try not to kill me, okay? But uh, you know what? Let's drink the Lita Ford because she's smoking hot. Or at least she was. Dan Butler, an amazing, amazing friend. Amazing guy. And, uh... Dan, I hope you like this song for Blues Monday. Traveling Man, Washboard Sam, 1941. Listen to the Washboard. Listen to Washboard Sam. Fine Outstanding Blues. Traveling Man, as we enjoy Lita Ford, 80s rock and roll girl. Big hair, leather, spikes. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. This girl would fit well on a thrash metal Thursday, except she wasn't thrash metal. But she's the type of lady you would see as a babe of the day on thrash metal Thursday. Especially nowadays. Look at her big ass tattoos. Nothing wrong with tattoos. I like me some tattoos. I don't have any personally, but I think tattoos are awesome. If you want them, go for them. Look at her back in the day. Hot diggity dog damn. So sweet and innocent. Wow. You hear that clicking? That's the washboard. Famous for being used to wash clothes back in the 30s and 40s. Uh, for those that couldn't afford an electric washing machine. 
happened a lot down south. You know, you use the washboard, you get the piano going. Oh, you're gonna like this one. Yo! Listen to that guitar, will ya? Gotta have a good instrumental break on uh, a good song. 1941, Traveling Man. And Justin Dimmon, I know you know what a traveling man is. That's right. Any fellow Masonic brother will know what a traveling man is. I'll leave it at that. I thought the show was going to be under 30 minutes. It looks like it did not happen, unfortunately. Well, hey, we had my guest co-host, Delilah, my daughter. My daughter will come in and chime in on a show whenever she will pleases because that's my daughter. And uh, the show is always better when she's on there, folks. Wow. That is a beautiful picture of the lovely Lita Ford. Oh, Lita. Metallics. Lita Ford. And of course, my phone's going to be a schmuck. Big hair. 80s, baby. 80s glamour rock. 80s hard rock. 80s metal. 80s hair bands. 80s Lita Ford. That's right. By golly, I think we got through all the pictures of the lovely Lita Ford. Let's burn through this day in history real quick. On this day, August 12th, in the year of our Lord, 1995, the first NFL game on Fox Network. On the Fox Network. It was an exhibition football game. San Francisco 49ers versus the Denver Broncos. That's right. On this day, also in 1995, the members of the Major League Baseball Players Association go on strike. It was so bad in 1994, didn't even have a World Series. That's how I feel about that. I think the Cleveland Indians would have been against the Montreal Expos that year. That's who was leading. Catastrophe. On this day in 1988, the Boston Red Sox set the American League consecutive home victories at 23. I remember it well. Morgan Magic had taken effect, folks. All right. Also on this day in 1988, the Red Sox beat the Detroit Tigers to establish that rec record. On this day in 1986, Don Baylor of the Boston Red Sox, my home team, my daughter's team, he gets hit by a pitch for a record 25th time in a single season. Dude, move the hell out of the way. Jeez. Also on this day in 1986, Red Sox pitcher Tim Waller. I remember him mostly with the San Diego Padres. Folks, they used him as a pitch hitter. A pinch hitter. How often do you see a pitcher used as a pinch hitter? Never. He got a single. This dude could hit. I think he probably could hit better than he pitched. But that's just saying me. All right. On this day in 1981, IBM introduced the personal computer, the PC, and PC DOS version 1.0. Ooh. On this day in 1978, Aaron Marshall completes a record shower of 336 hours. Dude, really? Why the hell would somebody take a shower for 336 hours straight? Dude, you must have been more wrinkled than a freaking raisin. Ugh. Ain't some th people will do anything to get into the Guinness Book of World Records. On this day in 1977, for the second straight day, Oakland A's catcher Manny Sangian foils a no-hit bid. Yep, two days in a row, pitcher had the no-hitter ruined by Manny Sangian. Awful, huh? On this day, 1974, Yankee, New York Yankees Mickey Mantle and Whitey Ford become the first ever teammates elected to the Hall of Fame on the same day. That's pretty damn cool. On this day, 1972, the last American combat ground troops leave Vietnam, or so we know of. On this day, 1970, Kurt Flood loses his $41 million antitrust suit against baseball. However, it did lead to... Free agency today as we know it in 1971. Kurt Flood, former uh, player for the uh, St. Louis Cardinals. Honestly, in 1965, Elizabeth Lane becomes the first ever female British Supreme Court Justice. 16 years before Sandra Day O'Connor for America. Honestly, in 1962, first time two people 
were in space at the same time. How about that? Arson 1960, Echo 1. Not Ecto 1 like the Ghostbusters, but Echo 1 became the, fir the first ever communications satellite is launched. 53 years later, think about how far we've come. Arson 1955, President Dwight D. Eisenhower raises the minimum wage for 75 cents to a dollar an hour. Yeah, but the cost of living was so much better back then. On this day in 1953, 60 years ago today, Ann Davidson becomes the first woman ever to sail solo across the Atlantic, and she arrives in Miami, Florida. On this day in 1948, the Cleveland Indians get 29 hits in a nine-inning game. They obviously went on to win what has been their last World Series title. They haven't won since. On this day in 1944, a pipeline under the ocean better known as Pluto, begins operating. On this day in 1936, as I mentioned, Seymour, Texas, t Texas record, wicked hot, 120 degrees Fahrenheit, 49 degrees Celsius. Also on this day in 1936, diver Marjorie Jestring is the youngest Olympic gold medalist ever. 13 years, 268 days old, she won in diving. That, wow. On this day in 1927, wings, becomes the only silent film ever to win an Oscar for Best Picture. And it opened. They didn't win the Oscar that day. But that was the day that the movie Wings opened in theaters. On its day in 1925, KMA AM Radio, Shenandoah, Iowa, begins radio transmissions. On this day in 1898, Peace Protocol ends the Spanish-American War. It is signed. Hawaii is formally annexed to the United States of America. As we know, 61 years later, it became the 50th state. On this day in 1896, gold is discovered at Klondike River, Dawson, Alaska. That led to the 1897 famous Alaska Gold Rush. On this day in 1888, Bertha, the wife of inventor Carl Benz, makes her first motor tour. That's right, Carl Benz of Germany with the Benz in 1885. We know it today is Mercedes-Benz. On this day in 1879, the first National Right Archery Association Tournament. Where at? Chicago, Illinois. On this day in 1863, the first cargo of lumber leaves Burrard Inlet, Vancouver, British Columbia. How about that? On this day in 1856, Anthony Fast patents the accordion. And many, many, many um, folks that play the accordion to include uh, polka musicians and stuff like that. Without Anthony Fast, they wouldn't have it. My father is an accordion player, matter of fact. First started playing in 1958 at the age of 8 years old. On this day in 1851, Isaac Singer officially patents his sewing machine. On this day in 1658, the first United States Police Corps formed. Where at? New Amsterdam, which became... That's right, New York City. On this day in 1508, Juan Pote de Leon arrives in Puerto Rico, the famous explorer. And finally on this day, in the year three. That's right, as if you're a Christian like me, you believe that good old Christ was walking the earth. Venus, Jupiter. Venus and Jupiter, those two planets were in conjunction with the star of Bethlehem. That is totally wicked awesome. And uh, if, you, if you're not a Christian, that's okay. Hey! We all have beliefs. Thank God we have the freedom to be different. Freedom of religion. It is a blessing indeed. Some countries don't even give you that. But America does. Well, Pharaoh's making this her famous chicken salad right now. Asian style chicken salad. Yummy. And I'm about to go eat it. So folks, you know what time it is, right? Damn right, Reverend Dr. B. Time for you to slam the rest of this here beer. I can definitely taste the maple in this. Empty as the brain cells of an average New York Jets fan. Folks, you know what time it is, right? Damn right, Reverend Dr. B. Folks, it's time to make like a fetus and head out and not a little fetus like Phil Besson. But everybody take care of Wicked Awesome Night and Day. Peace be the journey. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Drugs you can drive, may spill your drink, or you might kill yourself or somebody else. And drinking and driving is dumber than being a Yankees fan. 
And what's dumber than that is rooting for douchebag cocksuckers like Eli. Ow, oh, I'm as good as Tom Brady. Yeah, in your friggin' dreams. Manning, or men slapping women, or animal abuse, or racism, or people that welt on bets, or anybody who supports, defends, or is a member of the inbred Westboro Baptist Church, things like that are just plain stupid. And definitely deserve a big, fat, G-F-Y. Folks, I'm out of here. I'll see y'all tomorrow. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.